Hello viewers, yeah, welcome back to Gazin Snail Farm. Remember in this channel we teach you two things. What you need to know and what you need to do to be very very successful in snail farm business. So, so if today is the first time of visiting this channel, if you are new to our channel, I want you to click on the subscribe button below this video and the bell notification icon. So that whenever we release an video such as this, YouTube is going to notify you. And also, if this video is very helpful, if you find this video very, very helpful, I want you to give us a thumb up, give this video a like, so that it will help this video to rank on YouTube. So, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can successfully incubate and hash your snare eggs. How you can successfully incubate and hash your snare eggs. And you should know very, very well that uh, being successful in snare farming business is tied down on how successful you are in terms of incubation and hashing of your snare eggs. That's what rent how successful you will be in snare farming business. So the incubation and hashing of your snare eggs is very, very vital and important when it comes to do with snare farming business. Isn't it just because the rate at which your snares will increase is tied down on how successful you are in the incubation and hashing. You can imagine if uh, one of your snares uh, should be able to lay about 20 eggs and you are not successful in hashing those 20 eggs. That means you have totally lost 20 good species of snares. So, but if you can successfully incubate and hash them freely, then you have gained 20 species of snare. Now, multiply it by how many snares you have, or multiply it by the number of snares that lays egg in your farm. So, that is why I say that the increment in your snare farm is tied to how successful you are in the incubation and hashing of your snare. Eggs. So today I will show you practical way that you can do it and get a good result. So with that being said, let's get straight to the business. Okay, in the process of cleaning my farm this evening, you can see our This is our harvest that I was cleaning my pen this evening. So this harvest is uh, that um, the amount of 50 eggs that I was I discovered in the process of cleaning my pen this evening. So always is going to be incubated and hash successfully. So this is part of the things you benefit. As a snare farmer. So I'm going to pick some species from our harvest and uh, incubate them and hash them. So from our harvest, which are, you have seen, I'm going to pick some some samples. I'm going to pick some. So I'm going to pick some samples from our harvest and show you how you can successfully do this. So the first thing you need to do is you get your nomi soil ready. So this is my nomi soil. So the, the nomi soil is actually the best soil when it comes to do with uh, snare farming, both in egg incubation and hatch. So you get your snowmi soil, cover it in your disposable plate. Uh, there's two ways you can even do this. You can also incubate in your separate snare pen if there is a provision for that. But if there is no provision, you can get all these disposable plate and uh, get it done this way I'm showing you now. So you get the nomi soil, just let it cover the base of the plate let it cover the base it must not be too much but once it's covered the base then you are good to go so after your soil is um your nomi soil is ready the next thing is you bring your cell this is some samples are picked from our harvest so you introduce your snake's egg you introduce the eggs yes after we are done with that so you should make sure that they are not too close they are not too close so you should allow them give it space yes can give it a give it give them space so you have seen it uh, this is, is it already so what i need to do i will use um, my nomi soil again and uh, cover this eggs 
it's not going to be too much you just need to cover the eggs make sure that all the eggs are that they are covered so you can see it so they are covered oh man make sure that it's well covered so once i'm done with this the next thing is uh i use this one again cover the base of the plate then i introduce my eggs just as i said it shouldn't be too crowded or too close just make sure that it's uh, space make sure that it's space then i use my nomi soil cover it again and use my nomi soil and uh, cover the eggs so once i'm done this the covering shouldn't be too much you just let it cover the eggs it shouldn't pack a lot of sand to put it no no once it's covered the cover you are not seeing the eggs again then you are good to go then the next thing is if you watch look at this my disposable you see that i have ball holes on the cover so i have ball holes on the cover and this is to enable air also get to the soil so this once you are done with this you can now cover it you cover this one as well once they are well covered you are good to go for your hashery incubation and the hashery so you have seen it if you follow this simple procedure i showed you now you are surely guaranteed that you will get a good result success you will get success and you will achieve the um, hash rate of your snare. So remember, I told you that you can also do it in your pen. If there is a separate pen made provision for that, you can use it and still follow the same procedure I used. But if there is no pen provided where yeah, you can do, you can use a disposable and get it done. And that is all. So remember, once you are done with this, the next thing is that you need to keep it where um brain will not be beating it every time and where sun will not be shining it every time if you have a pen a separate pen that you're not making use of you can go and put it on that separate pen and keep it as long as rain doesn't meet it every time and as long as sun doesn't hammer on it every time success is there. so all you need to do is that maybe within three days interval or four days interval as the case may be you just go sprinkle water on the soil sprinkle water on it sprinkle that doesn't say you should pour no 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 you just sprinkle water on it sprinkle water on it and close it back after like three four days interview then just sprinkle so that the place will still remain the damp it used to be the normal natural habitat for them so once you are doing this sources well. so the next thing you need to do very careful the next thing you must do is that the hashing takes place from 21 days so once you keep this snare that you have incubated now Go and keep it where it's supposed to be. Take note of the date that you incubated it so that you will know when you're supposed to hash it and when it's supposed to be hashed. So, once you take note of the date, the next thing you need to do is go and keep it, leave it 21 days. So, but the good thing is that sometimes people are always scared. After 21 days, it has not hashed. They are, they are saying that ah, this, no, 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 no. The 21 days, we are not, I'm not saying that it's 21 days that it must hash. No, the hash rate starts from 21 days. As a matter of fact, I have in my own farm, there is some that even stayed up to 30 days before the hash. So you got to keep it, but you must make sure that you check it and start monitoring it once it's 21 days. You have to go there, monitor it, remove the ones that have hashed, and take them to a, a separate pen where you start nursing them. That's, we call it a nursing pen. So you take them to that place and start nursing them. And still keep the ones that have not hashed. Leave it, cover it back. Keep it, it will hash. From that 21 days to 30 days, you will be surprised you will see it hash. And the good thing is that it doesn't need your help to hash. Once it's due, you will see it, the, it will break. The eggshell will break and the baby snail will just come out. So you just pick it, take it to a nursing pen and that is all. So if you follow this simple procedure and these simple steps I have shown you, 
success is guaranteed you will have 100 percent in your integration and snare hash this process this procedure i have done it over and over and i'm achieving 100 percent result in my incubation and hashes so if you follow suit you also achieve that same result so thank you for watching i wish to see you in our next video have a lovely day bye for now